Greetings, friends. David Marks here with an Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic troubleshooting tutorial. Over the past few months, Adobe has been changing the way that develop presets are stored beneath the hood inside of Lightroom Classic. For most Lightroom users, these changes have been invisible and harmless, but for others, these updates have caused a lot of problems. So, if you're running the latest version of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic, and if your develop presets have suddenly gone missing, then hopefully the tips in this video can help you get everything straightened out again. Before we get into the nuts and bolts, let me make something clear. Missing develop presets in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic is a complex problem, and there are lots of possibilities here. There are lots of different scenarios involved in troubleshooting this one, so figuring out why your presets have gone missing might take a little experimentation. With that in mind, let's start with the easiest possibility. As you can see right now, my presets panel is completely empty. Right now, it looks as if all my presets have been destroyed or deleted. Before I panic though, I wanna check something simple but hidden. If I click right here on this little plus symbol along the far right edge of the presets panel, then a flyout menu will appear. In this menu, there's a new feature, a new option down at the bottom called Manage Presets. When I choose this one, a dialog box will appear where I can choose to show or to hide my preset groups. And as you can see right now, all of these groups are unchecked, which means they're all being hidden away. If I click here and put a check beside the word color and say the B and W, the black and white groups, for example, and then I press the save button, now these groups and all of the factory default presets that they contain are visible again in my presets panel. If I tap on the little arrow to the left of the word color, then this group will expand so that I can see all of the individual presets that live in this section. So, if it appears that some or all of your developed presets have gone missing in Lightroom Classic, then the very first thing that I would check is to see what's active and what's hidden inside of this new Manage Presets option. Okay, next scenario. Let's say that you have a preset that you built or some that you purchased that include features that only work with RAW files. Just to demonstrate, I'm going to build a new preset right now that applies the Adobe Landscape Camera Raw Profile to this image. So I'll apply the profile, then I'll come over here, I'll click, I'll go Create Preset, I'll name this one Adobe Landscape. I'll make sure that the right parts are included in the preset, that would be the treatment profile and the process version, and I'll hit Create. Now, as you can see, this preset is available right here. And if I move over to my next image, I'll click to apply it and everything works fine because this is a raw file. But when I move over to the next photo, which is a JPEG, that preset vanishes. The preset vanished because the feature that this particular preset activates, applying the Adobe Landscape raw profile, only works, obviously, with raw files. Lightroom Classic is hiding this preset away since it's not fully compatible with this type of file. Just to show again, if I jump back to a raw file, see how the preset automatically reappears? But if I go to any other file type, it vanishes. If this new appearing, disappearing act upsets you, then I have good news. If you go up to the Preferences menu in the latest version of Lightroom Classic, that's Lightroom Preferences on a Mac, or Edit Preferences for you Windows users, and then, you go over to the Presets tab. There is now a new option in here that will solve this problem. To prevent this frustration, turn on the new Show Partially Compatible Develop Presets option. Once I turn this one on and close out of the Preferences window, you can see that my new Apply Adobe Landscape Preset is still there even when I'm working on a JPEG. With this option turned on, the infuriating auto hide show behavior is disabled, but notice the preset is marked with italics. It's in italics here because Adobe wants to make it crystal clear that some part of what this preset does is not going to work on this type of file. Okay, next scenario. For this one, I'm gonna quit out of Lightroom at first. At this point, let's say that you downloaded a develop preset from the internet, just to demo, I have a preset here on my desktop that's called turneverythingblue.xmp. 
This preset, it gives everything an icy blue color cast. What it does is silly, but it's the installation process, not the results, that matter for this tutorial. The problem that lots of folks are running into right now is that most of the websites that sell or share or develop presets are still using antiquated installation instructions. It used to be that there was a folder, a hidden folder, for most Lightroom Classic users where developed presets like this one needed to be stored. Up until a few months ago, this folder lived inside your user account, in the library folder, under application support, under Adobe, under Lightroom, under develop presets. Windows folks, the path was slightly different for you, but don't sweat it, because what I'm about to show you is that placing your develop presets into this location on either a Mac or a PC does not work anymore. Just to demonstrate the kind of lousy, out-of-date develop preset installation advice that you can still find all over the internet, I'm gonna place this preset in here and then I'll start up Lightroom again. I'm doing this, but I know that with the most recent update to Lightroom Classic, that this is indeed gonna be a failure. And it's gonna be a failure on both JPEG, RAW files, TIFF files, PSD files, whatever. As you can see, there is no make it blue preset inside my presets panel right now. And the reason this is a failure and the reason why I've been getting a ton of emails from people who downloaded developed presets but can't seem to get them to work is because Adobe recently changed where this type of file belongs. Rather than showing you the new path through all those hidden folders, let me instead teach you a much better and easier way to install your own developed preset. The easiest way for the average Lightroom Classic user to install a new developed preset now is back here in that flyout menu that appears when we click on the little plus sign at the right edge of the presets panel. Rather than trying to locate some hidden folder myself, I'm just gonna use the new import presets option and let Lightroom Classic put this type of file into the appropriate place for me. So I'll go import presets. I'll guide this one to that XMP file on my desktop, and then I'll hit import. And here, here it is. Bam, that was easy. And now the preset appears and works as we would expect. By the way, Lightroom Classic can now import multiple presets at once using this method, as long as all of those presets are stored within a compressed zip file. I'll show you one more scenario in just a second, but if you're following out of date develop preset installation instructions, then try this new import button instead. Time for our final scenario. This one is the most complicated of all, but fortunately, it only applies to a much smaller segment of Lightroom Classic users. Unfortunately, this new import preset button, which was the solution to the last missing develop preset scenario, is not perfect. The problem is that this import presets button always assumes that you're storing your presets on your computer's internal hard drive. If you're using Lightroom Classic, on one computer and one computer only, then where you keep your presets doesn't really matter. But if you're like me and you wanna use the same Lightroom catalog, this catalog right here, on both a laptop and a desktop, then where you keep your presets is super important. For someone like me, for someone who wants to use the same Lightroom catalog and the same presets on all of my computers, then I must store my LRCAT file and all of its helper monkey parts on an external hard drive. Storing everything on an external hard drive means that the factory default preset storage locations are not the right solution for someone like me. Let me open up the preferences menu again and I'll try to show you what I'm talking about. When you first install Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic, Adobe assumes that you're going to keep your Lightroom catalog on your computer's internal hard drive. That's the default configuration and the way that things are set up on my screen right now. If I tap on this button here, the button that says show all other Lightroom presets, you can see where all sorts of things like my metadata templates and my import templates, my export presets, where all of these would live by default. For someone like me, 
For someone who is intentionally storing my Lightroom catalog on an external hard drive, this kind of internal preset storage doesn't work, which is why we've had this preference switch right here in Lightroom for many years. This preference switch, the one that says store presets with Lightroom catalog, is an essential feature for folks who keep their catalogs on an external drive. I'm going to enable this one, and then you'll see a little message in italics telling me I need to close this dialog and restart Lightroom. There'll be a tiny pause here as Lightroom restarts. Now, you would think that when I enable that preference switch, when I've explicitly told Lightroom where I wanted to keep my stuff, that the import preset switch, the switch here that solved our problems in the last scenario, would automatically adapt to my instructions. Unfortunately though, this is not true at all. This is super frustrating because it means that my custom presets, like the silly turn everything blue one, will go missing every time I change computers. Fortunately, there's a way to solve this annoying glitch, but it does take a little bit of work. To solve this one, make sure that you are inside of the develop module, and then right click on one of your custom presets. I'm gonna right click on that turn everything blue preset that I used in the last example. When you right click on this one, a flyout menu will appear. In here, choose the show in finder option on a Mac or the show and explorer option PC. At this point, a new operating system window should appear. Don't close this window, but move it out of the way or resize it so you can get around it and back into Lightroom. Back in Lightroom, go up to the preferences menu again. And then in here, come over to the presets tab. If you're like me, make sure that this store presets with this catalog switch is active. If you just turn this one on and a little message pops up in italics, then be sure to restart before proceeding. Since I did that restart a minute ago, I can skip that step. The next step is to tap on this button here. Tap on the one that says show all other Lightroom presets. When you tap this button, a second window should open. In this window, you should see a folder that says Lightroom settings. If you double click on this one, it will open. And now I'll see a list of subfolders for all the different types of presets that you can store in Lightroom. Down near the bottom, there should be a new folder that says settings. This folder, this is the secret one where folks like me, folks keeping their developed presets on an external hard drive need. So I'm gonna double click to open up this settings folder. Now, once you have both these windows open, all you have to do is drag and drop all of the .xmp develop presets from that other window into here. Once you've copied all these develop presets over, you can delete these from your internal drive. Be sure you're deleting from the right one, but it's no problem. I'll go delete because a copy of it is now here on my external. Now I can close all these windows and I can restart Lightroom. So it's not gonna be super dramatic, but just to prove that this worked, I'm gonna right click on that preset again and go show in Finder. Once again, a window is gonna open. And if you look at the path bar down there at the bottom of this window on a Mac or up at the top of the screen on a PC, you can see that this develop preset is now indeed in the right place on the right drive. And with it on the external drive, now I'll have it no matter what computer I plug this drive into, so I'll have it everywhere I go. Well, I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. I hope that now your develop presets are no longer missing and that you can spend your time on something far more fun and creative. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next tutorial.